Thank you for being with us. Hey, y'all were late. <laughs> you were late. No, you were right on time. Man. I'm just, I'm on SNL time. So, You're like, right. being just on time is early. Actually. Exactly. <laughs> you make you make an appearance, but obviously people know you from SNL. Yeah. You're from Chicago? I was uh, born in St. Louis, but I grew up in Chicago oh, in the nice. suburbs. You know, you have to say both of those things. <laughs> Chicago's like, yo, what hospital, what, what doctor? Yes, you know exactly. What I mean? Yeah, but I, yeah, I saw y'all talking about double-decker uh, planes. That's the, weird, because the people on the lower part are going to get farted on the whole flight. OK, see, I, I did the whole flight. I, I, I fart so much on the planes, because it's whoa, so loud. You whoa, can't even hear whoa. it, we don't do T that on TV. No, we don't do that ever. Y'all can't fart on TV? No, no, no you can't, can't fart anywhere. We <laughs> fart, you know, um, yeah, we what just, world we were no, we were. I was talking to a friend about this. I said, because I was saying, I was like, there's married couples where you leave the door open to the bathroom, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there's married couples where you don't even know what their fart smells like. No, nah, I need you to go to another house. <laughs> no, nah, you can close the door. I'm not. I'm not an open door policy type of person. No. When you no. do come to Chicago, though, what are some of the things you have to do when you come to Chicago? Well, uh, Portillo's, which okay. is why the farting happened. I was going to say, oh right? I, I thought you were going to get over you that. Trying to trying to you were trying to transition. You were trying to move in. Everything. You were just trying to Let's transition. Let's get him OK. Um, is there, it, besides the Fresh Prince, uh -huh. is there another skit that you really loved doing on SNL? Uh, I mean, I had, I had a great time on the show. Uh, I think one of the things that resonated with me the most was uh, playing Mayor Adams. Uh, that was a lot oh, of fun. Oh my gosh! Because it it, it, it it incorporated everything <laughs> I like doing roasting, um, do, I, a, a political impression I could finally do that matched my voice. You know, but once <laughs> we had like a hood mayor, I was like, oh, that's me. That's you. Okay. <laughs> I, knew, I knew I could do that. And he's just a funny man, you know what I mean? He's just, his whole thing is just hilarious. How he's dealing with the smog right now is very funny. Well, no, you're right. And there are some funny moments, even in light of very serious stories. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have to ask you about this comedy special that you have coming up. I've, I've been watching your videos on your Instagram. This is a nationwide tour. Is it Why Am I Like This? Is that the name of uh, it? Yeah, my, well, my special is out on, uh, on Max now called Why Am I Like This. The tour now doesn't have a name. It doesn't. Why is I'm it nameless? I'm still trying to figure out why I'm like this, but it doesn't Well, have yeah, a name. I think we all are, especially <laughs> since you started with such a gleaming up. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just highbrow comedy. Gleaming thing, conversation, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, but this one, I'm just kind of like, um, I'm diving more into just, uh, you know, uh, me as a person and, and how I'm looking at the world and stuff we're going through. But you've always kind of done that. You've talked about, you know, growing up and uh, the jokes you had, you and your brother talking about your uncle and everything. Now, you yeah. never know how much of it is true and how much much of it was actually just worked into the comedy, but you've made real life experiences part of your. Oh, he doesn't like. He doesn't exaggerate. Time. Chris Red doesn't exaggerate. Oh, I don't exaggerate at all. <laughs> no, I, I exaggerate just enough to protect the people I'm talking about. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not trying so to incriminate. We don't really know who you're talking about. It could yeah. be one cousin or the other cousin. Yeah. Well, yeah. The cousins they know. The cousins <laughs> and the uncles definitely like. Oh, that's me. But as long as they don't say nothing, you know, what I mean, we good. Are you Are you enjoying making streaming projects a part of your like empire or brand or whatever they call comedians? full profile? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the streamers. They, I hope they figure out how to pay with the writers so we can get back to work. Yeah. You know, oh, that does, uh, writers that would be strike. a beautiful thing. Yeah. But yeah, once when we're working, I love it. It's <laughs> right. really fun when we're working. <laughs> I agree with that. You're coming up in a space that I think is so hard to do, comedy. It's one of the hardest spaces to do. It's 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 harder than just acting. Um, yeah, to all the actors that anybody, No, but anybody that's watching, <laughs> What is your what's your inspiration? What what would you tell them? I mean, you're 38 years old. Mm -hmm. Damn, girl, you just have to put me out there. Like, how did you, how did you, you look I'm, young, I'm but how did you get to where you are? Uh, a lot of failure and not giving up. You know what I mean? I uh, always knew that I wanted to do something. Um, I was wanting to entertain, and I knew that was in me. I just had to figure out what lane and and to know when to switch up and adjust your dream and just not get stuck on what it should look like. Yeah. But like, use your use your skill set to. To continue to work and and, um, and hone your skills and, your, and you'll find your path. You know, Chris, I know you are used to doing improv. On Fridays, we do a thing called Think Fast Fridays. Oh, so we're going to throw something at you, and we want the don't first. Be scared, don't be scared because I've watched your eyes right don't, there. I'm, I'm, I'm never scared. scared. Nick was a bit abrupt there, but really, this is innocent. Well, we're going to we're going to throw some questions at you. Okay, absolutely, Adrian, go. I don't know what my question oh, is. Oh, I thought you, I thought you oh, knew. This, okay. Is not, okay. this is not a great improv. I was saying. Okay, here we go. Well, you oh, took no. my script. Hold on. <laughs> Give us your best celebrity impersonation. My best celebrity impersonation would have to be Stephen A. As, as far as, like, y'all put me up. Here's what I'm not going to do. <laughs> is that if you all put me on the spot, and I even had my coffee, 
Oh my! <laughs> You're that right on. Really that, that was exactly <laughs> Stephen A. Oh, yeah. 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 Every one of my I, actually, that's what I know you the most for. Oh, Stephen A. Oh my God! <laughs> no. so, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.